Hello, people. Welcome to Melhead Reacts. Today, I'll be doing a review of the I Have Helix album that came out on July 8th called Conditions. Now, I Have Helix are very low on the totem pole band. Like, they've only released two albums in, I think, nine years they've been around, so that's not a lot of intel. Because they're not signed to a label. If I guess they're signed to a label, I guess they get more publicity and more money would come into the band, I guess. But the band itself is a progressive deathcore band hailing from Orange, California, I think. Orange County, California. And I would say they're more of a progressive metalcore than deathcore, but according to Spirit Mound, they're progressive deathcore, I guess. And the band is Corey Colbert of X Army and X. Uh, uh, like of Ar like your arms, I think it's called. Uh, Nate Men singer, pretty decent vocalist. There's like three different singers in the band. Uh, Isaiah Kutra on guitar, plus Mass and Brummer, and Ramon Valerio on bass. The only single that, that I know that came out was Leper's Cry. It was about a three minute long song that came out. I don't exactly know when it came out, but it was leaked, I guess, on YouTube. I don't know, but it's a decent song. It's not my, one of my favorite album songs on the album, personally. Uh, the album itself is 12 tracks in length, fucking about 41 minutes, and it's a decent album. I mean, it's not going to get the band on a higher level. I feel like if they could get, like, I don't know, maybe a better song structure, I guess. I mean, that's me and me, me a little bit nitpicky, but I feel like the song structure in this album wasn't as strong as I thought it would be because some of the intros, I guess, didn't flow around, right, I guess, there's like two intros, um, loss of, a loss of sound, I think, and the other one, I can't remember what the other one was, but it's decent effort album, I mean, it's not gonna blow you away, I mean, the, the guitar works nice, everything flows nicely with the album, so it's not gonna, like, Blow you away. It's not like a periphery album where everything just blows everything out of the water. It's a nice, solid album to get the fan guests back on the map and say, "Hey, we're still here. Let's put this. Let's see what. Let's see what. Let's show you what we still have." My favorite songs of the album were "Trim More," "Intro Gray," "Black and White," "Repeat," and "Remedy." And I give the review at a 7.5 out of 10. Now, tomorrow I'll be not tomorrow. Uh, probably Thursday I'll do the review of. Gravity by Boy from Valentine. It's gonna be a different one. Not gonna lie, people keep saying it's not a good album. I complete the complete opposite. So um, yeah, peace.